Election 2011 coverage on Manx Radio, brought to you by PDMS. Well, we head uh, north to Ramsey to hear from our second election candidate this morning. Uh, Linda Bowers-Cash is representing the Liberal Vanin Party in the town. 54, lives in Ramsey. Uh, described as a br business professional, a former vice president of Barclays Wealth, a member of the Ireland's Employment Tribunal and Institute of Directors. Good morning to you. Good morning, John. Uh, and just can I say, I did enjoy your singing this morning. Oh, very therapeutic. That's very kind of you. A new name to Manx <laughs> politics. So can you just tell us a bit about your background in the finance sector very much? Yes, I've been in the finance sector since 1973, working for various institutions. Um, I started off at grassroots level by filing the cheques and worked my way up to vice president level at Barclays. Um, I came to the Isle of Man in 1988. I had... Well, where were you beforehand? Beforehand, I'd moved from Liverpool. That's where I was born and brought up. I spent five years in the finance sector in Liverpool before moving down to the southeast of England. So, so very much a finance background. Very how, much so, yes. How does that suit you to the hurly-burly of Manx politics? I believe that the skills and the experience that I've acquired through my various roles in the finance sector have equipped me to serve the Manx public well over the next five years because I believe that the, the next five years will require a different skill set than perhaps has been required in the past because I think we're going to go through a lot of change. I think we're going to have to be you know, financially more astute. And the reason I'm standing, and I want to make this absolutely clear, is that having lived on the island since 1988, it's given me massive opportunities to acquire my own personal success, drive my own um, improvement so it's helped in you skills. Flourish, in it's helped me flourish, exactly so. And I feel that at this stage in my life now, I'm well placed to try to give back to that community that's helped me to get on in my life and it's really payback time and that's why I'm standing. You're part of the Lib Van uh, party. Indeed. What's attracted you to that? I believe that they are going to be champions of change. More of the same will just bring more of the same and my belief is, and it aligns with the Lib Van, that that won't be good enough. Would you sign up to be part of a government if you moved in? You, are you allowed to be? Well, I think that's been covered yesterday in Chris Thomas's um, yeah. uh, 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 interview, and, and I think I'd like to, if, if it's OK, to just reiterate what he said and cover and cover that. But you know, but, we but would. Are you allowed to, to be part of the? We government? would seek to form a government, and I'd say. But your own government, not part of the, another government. You know, and then after plan. after the election results have been known, then you know, you're best able to formulate. You know. What, what, what you can and can't do. Increase our credibility and influence externally. Now, you're in the finance sector. You mm -hmm. must know how other countries regard us. Yes. How do we go about this? Well, it's to, be, it's, it's to be expected that a smaller jurisdiction needs to really um, champion a culture of being ambassadors in everything we do. When we're visiting countries or we, we come across business contacts, we have to be an ambassador for are the Isle of Man. It? Have we got of politicians course, who are up to the job? We, well, we can increase that skill set through the voting that we're going to be asked to do at the end of September. You know, looking to what we'll, we will require over the next five years. Because if you consider that for different periods of time, we require different skill sets depending on the environment they were having to manage through. And the next five years are going to be very cha very challenging. A couple of local issues. Yep. Uh, the marina. Does yes. Ramsey need a marina? Should it have one? I believe the success of the Peel Marina has demonstrated that, you know, th th it, it is so, yes. a project that should be resurrected. And the pier. Yes. pier. The pier? Should, that, should that be resurrected as a working pier? Okay, I'm gonna, can I answer that in two parts? My heart swiftly, if you would. My heart says yes. My commercial head says yes. In some format, that has the capacity to generate income, and the icing on the cake would be is if we could acquire some form of sponsorship for it. And presumably, Peter Caron for chief minister. I think that's a question to be formulated once the elections have been held, John. Well, but if he won, if he was in a position to be chief minister, if he put himself forward, that's, that's where that's where the demonstrate that's where we would then determine what was to be 
and the way forward. Linda Bowskash, thank you very much. Linda no, Bowskash, who's standing in the constituency of Ramsey on September the 29th.